Welcome to Dano on Fire, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. We are checking out the Golf Is Hotel and we are at the veranda. That's where we are. And with me, I have the ever so gorgeous Yoreni Noshiha joining me. This Noshika part is Chinese. Japanese. How did you end up there? Because I think my parents had like Japanese family friends. Ah, that's so, it. Ah, no. So I, <laughs> no, I was saying I that explains the look. I that they must have. <laughs> yeah. But the look is also a bit Japanese, bit Japanese. no? Japanese, no? Ching look. Ching, there's a Ching look. Uh, yeah. Maybe you might have been conceived while you were watching Oshin. Oh, you never know. Yeah, <laughs> you never know at that time. It ran like a hundred times on our state My TV. God, yeah, yes. of course, forever. That was like a... It's still running, I think. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oshin. All right, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be talking to her about lots of things that she's doing. These days she's really busy. She has got black these days. Yes. Um, although we, I, I, I'm someone who embraces all types of skin colors and I think we should never try to be fair. But this particular drama that you're acting in currently has made you 10 shades darker than what you are. Literally my hair color. Okay, tell me about it. <laughs> The drama, I play a village girl's role. Mm. And this is a teledrama re-entry after a long time. After five years. Okay. Yeah, after Kumbio. Anyway, yeah. it's COVID also sort of blocked, blocked everyone. Blocked everything, no? yes. Yeah. So, um, and uh, we shot the first half in Tissa Maharama. Mm. So, um, I play this girl's role where her dream is to become a modeler. Mm. Not a model. A modeler. 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 Oh. So, and then she comes to Colombo mm. and how she, you know how the journey takes off from there. Right. And, and she is also going through the same kind of stereotypical thinking of, you know, lighter skin is nicer and all of those. Those, yes. Mm. So it's a beautiful story. Um, I absolutely fell in love with the script and I And also it's very relevant to today's. Relevant to today's. So she comes, she takes part in Sri Lanka, then how she has to go through all the norms in the industry and mm. then her life changes at a certain point and then she, uh, then the power and um, the greed for money becomes more than oh. her passion of right. being model you know right. so then so it's a beautiful story it's a 50 episode teledrama uh, so we are yet to shot the Colombo scenes and mm. uh, hopefully within this year it should be, be released yes and it's quite done. interesting with the fact that you know teledramas now do not come with a ending date Yes. <laughs> they just say, yeah, we have like the first five episodes, the rest will decide. No, and then no, we are no. going to kill your We're going to shoot. We're going to shoot all 50 episodes yeah. and then we're going to pitch it to a channel. So it's right. not, uh, we've not uh, decided on which channel we're going to uh, give it to. So after once the entire thing is shot, we will be deciding which channel we will go with. That's amazing. Now I wanted to speak to you. This industry can actually corrupt or like play around with your mind because you know there's so many things happening around you at any given time and there is always a fight for opportunities because uh, we are a small country and yeah. there's so many Industry creative small, people. Yeah. Ha, do you feel that your innocence and your morals and ethics were ever compromised from the time you started to today? Not really, no. Um, thankfully, when I started, there was nothing that called compromising existed in the industry mm. initially back in 2007. It was nothing, it was pure talent. Mm. Um, as, 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 as far as I'm concerned, there was no compromising. But later, I think, um, 2000, 2000 plus, I think, mm. a lot of, you know, the competition became more. The reality shows started coming into the scene mm. and then a lot of reality stars were in the scene. And then the competition became more, the reality stars were coming, wanting to sing and plus act and a lot of, everyone won. Every household, if you, if you walk into a normal house, they're like, you know, back in the day, over doctor, lawyer. Mm. Now, if you go, I want to, uh, you know, make them famous, mm. popular. You mm. know, that's so. Things have changed. They ship, you yeah. know, the because what they see from outside seems so beautiful. Beautiful, but yeah. it's not actually. Yeah. So sadly, now the industry, uh, like you said, has taken a different turn. Sadly, for the newcomers, that's what I hear. Uh, but with me, thanks to my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> The gap that the fills gap. any <laughs> silent moments. <laughs> um, and uh, for a good, I mean, thanks to Methodist College, I had a um, good upbringing. And with all that, when I came to the industry, I knew where I stood. I, mm. I knew what I exactly wanted out of my life. I knew where I want to place myself. And I knew the direction, though I, I came to the industry without any you know, absolutely with no clue. Yeah. Once I got, got into the industry, I absolutely had a clear vision where I wanted to see myself mm. in five years or 10 years, if I want to 
position myself. So when you have a little bit of, and, bit, and the other thing is that no, whatever you do, you need to do it with confidence and you need to have absolute faith in yourself, 100% mm. faith. Can't I compromise those. Yes. So when you know that you are capable of doing so many things, you don't need to compromise your values. And I think that has been always the case with me. I, I, I always knew um, I had the talent. I am um, capable of doing things. I, I knew what I can bring to the table. So I always demanded, you know, I've always been, from the time I stepped into the industry up until now, I've been an extremely demanding artist. And uh, that has it has worked, worked positive, positive and negative, but negative both. Yeah, but, but it's mostly good to be there. yes, it's good to be there. I think a lot of youngsters who come into the industry, um, they don't, they have lack of self confidence in them, low self esteem. I mm. see, and uh, they always come with this thing, you know, preconceived uh, notion. Okay, fine, I need to compromise. I have to compromise if I need to get ahead in life. Correct. You know, they already walk into the industry with that mm. thought in mind and then obviously then you attract you know what you think about you attract that's yeah. that's the universal law so um, I think that's where what you you know uh, you said like a lot of compromising that happens so yeah I guess that's the reason that is true well uh, we're going to sit down and have this salad because she's like yes you know she she once made a statement I'm going to talk about that she was like Sometimes I just want something to go from here to here and then just move on with my life. <laughs> um, so I'm going to talk more about when we do come back uh, in terms of her cooking skills. And also because she has lived alone all her life, how does she sort of manage that when we do come back? Please stick around and stand on time. And welcome back to the show. We are checking out the veranda at the Golf Ace Hotel. The sun is about to set, which is a good thing. And I'm in conversation with Yureni. Now, Yureni, as you could see, is not a heavy eater. Yeah. Uh, you have lived alone from the time you were in your teens. <coughs> now, currently, what do you eat? <laughs> rice and curry. But you eat like one dish, like one rice and one curry. and Yeah. I mean, but I felt my heart hurt when you said that. You said, just want to gallop something just for me. Yeah. Your stomach is full, that's it. Yes. I'm, I'm not like a foodie. You know, I okay. eat just about with one, one or two veggies. I'll have my rice and I'm done with it. And I'm okay. I just need to send that sign, signal, okay, you've that's had your meal. That's and that's it. <laughs> and then I'm, she's I'm good. She's just telling her brain that she has eaten, eaten. something. <laughs> <laughs> but I eat. Uh. Um, not that I starve, I yeah. eat. Now... Uh, because last year I got really sick, Dano. Okay. <clears throat> My hemoglobin levels really dropped and then I went into an anemia state. Uh, I didn't even know that term and then <laughs> until <laughs> doctor explained it to yeah. me. So I got a bit scared and ever since I, I thought I'll properly have like a rice and curry because as long as I work out and yeah, burn it. At least there's one meal One proper, system. you know. And yeah. So I have rice and curry. There's a Batkade down my lane, so mm. they have yummy, really yummy rice and curry. Okay. So I have my rice and curry, and in the morning, I have my oats. Mm. Oats I can make. make by yourself, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's very easy. So um, oats also I make in different ways. Like I make parfaits, like overnight I refrigerate. Oh, wow. Then I make oat pancakes, and I make oat smoothies. Uh, okay. You can't have the same oats that is like true, every that is day, true. no darling. Have you tried oats with coconut milk? It's the best. Yes, it's yeah. yum. So parfaits when you make overnight, you refrigerate it. You put oats, you put coconut milk, honey, oh, okay. and then you add whatever your uh, right, cut right. Um, so fruities on top, and top yeah. and then you. Have it. Well, you know, I wanted to ask you, have you ever felt, okay, this industry makes you meet a lot of people, you smile, you laugh, okay, blah, blah, blah. But when you go home, shut the door behind you, life is just between those four walls. 
And have you ever felt alone? Of course, yes. How many times have I felt lonely? Um, I've cried because I, because I couldn't handle loneliness, and especially during Corona time, COVID time. Um, that, this is how I look at it, Dano. You know, God, God is not going to. Universe is not going to. Let me put it that way. Universe is not going to give you everything. You know, you. Some people are blessed with families. Some people are blessed with siblings. Some people are blessed with their careers. I guess in my case, I'm blessed with a good career. God has given me, you know, a great career, loved by, people. you know, people, uh, fame, stability, independence, all that. So you, you're not going to have everything in, uh, you know. It's some things that you have to sacrifice. And uh, to stay alone is a choice that I have made. Um, mm. When I broke up, when I had my last relationship in 2009, um, ever since I, I made a promise to myself, until I get ahead in life, somewhere stable and steady, I Where you don't need somebody else to... Yes, um, mm. because love is something that, that really weakens me and uh, that, that is my weak point. Mm. And when you know that your weak point can destroy you, so you might as well you not, not go in there until yeah. you're really 100% sure, sure of it. So since 2009, I have uh, decided I'm not going to give my heart away. But of course, we're all humans in between. I've had casual, you know, flings, all that. But I have never properly loved anybody or been in a relationship ever since. Um, so that's a sacrifice that I have made. I mean, if I wanted to, I could have been mm. in a relationship, got married, had kids, all that. I, if I wanted to, I could have. I mean, but that was a choice I, I you know, so it's, um, but looking back, I think. But it's not too late. It's not too late. You're just, what, 24? No? <laughs> yeah, I'm just still 24, just 24 sweet. Oh yeah. So, yeah, answering your question, it's, uh, yes, of course, I've felt lonely and, uh, you know, sometimes it's, Difficult. You wish, you know, after a very tired day. Or you go, have somebody you to You just go to ask. home. You go home and then you go to someone to hug and sleep yeah. or something. Or at least to ask how are you doing. Or how are like, you how doing? Was today? Or you just to share your day, yeah. you know. And um, yeah, I felt so many I, times. I relate to you. I empathize with you on these lines. Uh, like I always think of her during Christmas time. We had <laughs> this long chat. Like, you know, Christmases feel so empty when you don't have like a yeah. family to sort of bring in. You can have all the baubles hanging on a tree, yeah. but nothing can replace the warmth that you'll get from a family yeah. and it's very special uh, today you 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 have a solid fan base you have a lot of people who gaga over you and maybe do other things as well <laughs> looking at you <laughs> but uh, have you have you ever have you ever wondered like was this journey that is what you were meant to be in exactly. or were you were, were trying to do something else I think this is the journey that I was meant to be. I mean, I never wanted to become an actor, Dano. I never, you know, when I was in college, I was one of the naughty smart, ones. <laughs> naughty uh, ones. Plus and also, you were the very, brainy ones. Yeah, yes. you were one of the studious ones. Studious so. ones. And uh, so I was wanted to do law and go in that. Would have been a good lawyer. Good lawyer. Would have put everyone <laughs> behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so acting just happened to me, you know, just out of the blues and once I got into it and now looking back I think definitely this is this was the path that I was destined to take, um, take. and uh, I'm extremely grateful of course there is a bit of a regret that I couldn't finish my higher studies or could have done something mm. uh, but, but that brain is still there brain. you can yeah um, I hope this is not far. <laughs> it's <laughs> no very, much there. <laughs> very much there so um, but I'm extremely grateful for for my my career, what path. what a path, yeah. Uh, but uh, that teledrama, I was supposed to act as a co-star. Yes, Kinduragana, my first teledrama. Yeah, I was supposed to be your boyfriend. Yes, you were supposed to play my love interest, and we could have had a lovely chemistry. We could I'm have dated. We could have created memories. And we were living in. Um, we were supposed to shoot where in some. Uh, in Nigambo. And for what, two years you lived there? Two no? years we lived there. God, two I years and we might two have years, gone through divorce as well. 23 days non stop we were working for a month. 23 days yeah. every month. So basically, absolutely no life at all. I would have just made life with you. Yeah, you know, could have had be... babies also, I darling. <laughs> We have come out of the shoot as a family. A family. <laughs> <laughs> Vihanga Sanju. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around because when we do come back, I want to speak about, um, we did a project together. I want to speak about a movie that we have done and it's coming out. Uh, oh, it's out. I will speak more.
welcome back to the show, our final segment, and this is the veranda. This churro here has been completely objectified in many ways than one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you uh, not say that? The, but if only this churro can talk, <laughs> they'll dig a hole and die. <laughs> but uh, coming back, I wanted to speak about this project that we acted. It was a it was a Hollywood release, and we uh, acted alongside. People like just Brad, Pitt Brad Pitt and, and Angelina, Jen but she was not there. No? The was Jennifer Edison was also too busy to yeah, come for the premiere. For that, yes, yeah, yeah. One for that one segment. But Brian yeah, was, Reynolds was on his way, but then he then got he a call from Blake Lively, and then he had then to, he had to yeah, go off. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Priyanka, of course, made it because she wants to just get herself into something or the other. No? <laughs> anyway, but in midst of such star-studded star movie lineup, <laughs> we made the cut. <laughs> they all auditioned apparently. Yes, yeah. I know. <laughs> And this film is called Yalu or the Yalu either. They couldn't say the name. Yes. <laughs> that's how they were cast. <laughs> they, <that's> how <laughs> say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> None of them could say yeah. it. So then we were the ones who got it. Yes. Um, so I, even I got it wrong for the first <laughs> few months. But um, so this, uh, Yureni has been a part of this project from its inception. So I'm going to let her speak about it so she can tell you more. Oh, yeah. So Yalu the Yalu the is uh, Dil Sharajaman. He's director. He's directorial debut. And uh, it's the first rom-com, fashion-oriented, fashion-based movie in Sri Lanka. And uh, so Dilshara's vision was he wanted to cater to a different youth audience. Mm. A lot of movies. Uh, the filter that been, audience. The, the TikTok, TikTok audience. audience yeah. The millennials. Yeah. The new gen. Uh, like, like us. Like us. The yeah. new gen. The new gen. <laughs> 24. <Yeah. and laughs> Just 20. 20. <laughs> so, um, and, uh, so, base, so love story based on, you know, you know how it is now, uh, when, when we were growing up, we have to write letters. Sorry, I, I was not that old. Okay, <laughs> so we used to write, we say I love you through chits and ah, yeah, all yeah. that yeah, and yeah. no phones. Yeah. Little bit more and you might say we had to send a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> you were not there. So now people say I love you over a text and they break up over a text. Yeah, then you can even go through those, you know, those texts that disappears the minute you read it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, actually, so there was no love story that has been made around, you know, the new age and day, you know, um, how should you say it? Uh, captured in this kind of market. Market, yeah, yeah exactly. There's been a lot of artistic films, there's been cinema that has been the traditional, you know, like, you know, the whole mainstream running around the trees thing. The thing like, yeah. But uh, this new millennial uh, movies that has not been actually yeah. made. So Dirshara wanted to do a change. He wanted to, I really appreciate because coming out of Corona, COVID, it's not easy to find an investor and do a movie, Correct. you know. You should be um, stupid in Honestly, in world. <laughs> to take a risk, a huge yeah. risk, you know, and that too, it's not the, it's not uh, not a frequent genre that we, you know, Correct. this is And also it was at the height of the Aragalia when, when, when we had an unstable government. Government, well. yeah. yeah. So with all that, I think uh, Deoshara managed to pull it through and uh, here we are now uh, in a couple of weeks. Yalu the Aragalia will the be screen. released. Yeah. Yes, I know, but, um, and we need new faces. We need, uh, we only see, us, you know, the normal, uh, very standard faces in, in the Singhala industry, but we don't really see a lot of Colombo, mm. uh, you know, base crowd is coming to the industry and, you know, taking a step forward. So we have Iraj and Sharin, uh, two young faces. And no, I all our faces are young, Yureni. Yeah. yeah. All our faces all, are, all our faces all are young. young faces. Young faces, faces young faces. Yeah. They are new faces. Yeah. The new faces. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I think Dilshara has given them a great platform. And Definitely. it's not, uh, uh, it won't be, um, uh, actually Yalu Yalu is, is the first film of another, you know, he's planning to do a yeah. series of movies. So this is just one and definitely there'll be many more opportunities for all the young, uh, the new faces out there uh, to launch themselves in the industry. And Yalu the Yalu is very um, glamorous. It's a glamour movie mm. and it's, it has the first EDM theme song in Sri yeah. Lanka, Taruna, Taruna either and uh, which has become very popular right now uh, yeah. among a uh, lot of youngsters even i love love the mm. song you i mean you know we, we used to it's, very it's, catchy yeah. and it, it has a beat to it, it beat it's to also it. on tiktok and it's it's nice to know that you know the cinema industry is also loving and welcoming such new uh, 
characteristics of cinema to come forward. Yes, I think EDM is taken over the world. Yeah. So it's about time that we incorporate all that into our industry. Yeah. And Dilhara, Dilshar has done a brilliant job and with DJ Maas, he's got Dinesh Kamage, DJ yeah. Ma and Sherry and all of them, they've collaborated, come together and yeah. really has really um, spiced up the movie and even the storyline, it's def uh, it's where it's you know everything happens through social media it's the Correct. digital world that we live in so the story is also very relative related to the digital world and how people you know friendship turns into love, love in a digital yeah. world yeah. and how um, complicated just, things can be <laughs> just literally drama drama so yeah. much a drama but it's a nice drama nice. A, cute a cute drama, drama. yeah a that's cute what drama I you should like watch it and uh, are you, of course, coming as a... She's a, she's a dirty little girl. Dirty little girl, yeah. She's, yeah. she's like, you know, the spanking type. <laughs> the type that just squeezes you tight. <laughs> and uh, they were like, Yureni, uh, like, let's get into character now. She's like, oh, I was born in this character. <laughs> it's just that nobody has written, <laughs> written it. Written it, and she just uh, walks straight through it. And, uh, you know, she just... Uh, she, she abuses everyone looking gorgeous. <laughs> Um, and the climax of it is really sad. <laughs> <laughs> let's put we it. We will, yeah, that yeah. way, and we will. We'll, end let's put yeah. it. So uh, once it's released, yeah. please go watch it and support yeah. the Sri Lankan cinema. Um, and uh, you know, just we would love to hear your feedback. Correct. And share, tag us on all social media handles when you go watch it now, yeah. because uh, we need your feedback and uh, really. Enough Enjoy. You spoke yeah. the whole segment about Yes, it. thank you, darling. Sorry. This is the problem. I don't like to have people who talk a lot <laughs> because then they don't give the show back to me. Ah, uh, sorry, she's darling. Just, sorry, she my darling. One, like she's doing this talk show and all, like it's called <laughs> Happy Hour. And now I am. I have become a sad person now. This, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my darling. You should see Danu in this. Ah, mm -hmm. Danu, mm -hmm. what's your purpose? That dialogue. Luhundin saaran sa katha ba kiyan na please. Kiyan. Yeah. How how long did it take My you? My God. Thirty days. Luhundin, <laughs> Luhundin. It was all types of words except the correct word. <laughs> hmm. My. Mm, nice. We have started with the stick. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> Always, darling. Always. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> long or short, Yureni will take care of them all. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, please let me eat my churros in peace. Don't let it drip. On that note, we need to wrap things up. We will see you soon. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap. Take it. Mm.